we are going to talk about Mexican wolf. The we choose this animal because it's in danger of extinction. And in this presentation, we going to mention some general characteristics and a little bit of history of this animal. Well, first of all, Mexican wolf is considered the biggest canine in Earth. Um, this animal has short yellow and black color and hair, I mean in the hair, um, is a mix of, two, uh, of these two colors and lives especially in the north of Mexico and some parts of Arizona and Texas but here in Mexico we can find this animal in forest in, play in states like Chihuahua, Coahuila, Zacatecas and Aguascalientes and well this animal is considered endangered since 70s Hello class, my name is Daniela and I'm going to explain their diet, behavior, reproduction, stress and how to help them. It's a typical predatory carnivore. It's believed that in the wild it feed a long list of prey, but since it was considered in danger of extinction and its state was established in captivity for conservation purpose, its diet has been totally modified. Behavior it's a social animal and forms herds of family groups with a couple that reproduce for life and their offsprings. Some herds include other close relatives. Generally, a group consists of five to eight individuals, but a herd of up to 36 members were reckoned. Mexican wolves sleep, play, eat together, and compare to hunt. And their communication was based on holes that could be heard several kilometers away. Reproduction. Queen packs only the alpha pair called mating regularly in February. The species only reproduce once a year and their little sign reaches from 3 to 9 of springs. Treats. One of the main reasons why Mexican wolves began to trend to the point of almost disappearing, reducing their numbers from 1,000 to use a few, was poaching because, as we can see, it's a beautiful species. Also, with the increase of livestock and agricultural activity in the areas where they roam, they begin to be displaced. What can we do for them? For now, only a few wolves have been returned to their natural habitat and the rest remain under conservation or in captivity. By the time they are returned to their natural state, we must 1. About poaching of dead prey that serve as food, 2 respect their habitats and three reduce pollution in each of the free space where they live thank you very much